Hi, this video we are going to see about black box testing levels. In the previous video we have seen white box testing levels. Here we are going to discuss about black box testing levels. Who is going to do the black box testing? We have discussed about uh, terminology section or uh, their static testing, white box testing, black box testing and gray box testing will be there. Who is going to do the black box? We all are black box testers. Who doesn't have programming knowledge? Who are doing testing through GUI, graphical user interface? We all are black box testing people. In the black box testing, and also we have seen white box testing, uh, there we are going to see about uh, two levels of testing will be there, unit testing and technical integration. Whereas coming to the black box testing level, How many levels of testing we are going to perform here? There are six levels of testing we used to perform before we are sending some code or some application to the live environment, production environment. Six levels are module level testing, functional integration level testing, system level testing, user acceptance testing, pre-production and production testing. So, compulsorily each and every application will go on through these all six levels and then only it will goes into the production live environment for, which is available to the end users. First one module level testing what as a tester we are going to do it module means some particular feature some functionality is a module independently we are testing a particular application or particular feature that is nothing but module level. Let me assume our windows operating system is there. You are testing a calculator application that is one application in the windows. So you are testing the application feature independently only that particular application then that is a module level testing. You, you let me assume your application is having 10 features each feature you are testing not depending on other feature then that is a module level testing testing the feature 1 testing the feature 2 testing the feature 3 up up to testing the feature 10 that is something like module level testing testing the each feature independently not depending on other features or functionalities that is something like module level test that we are going to that is this is the first level of testing we are going to perform on our application second one functional integration level testing functional integration level testing function integration level testing is something like in the module level you tested each and every feature independently in the integration level testing you are going to integrate one feature with other feature whether the functionality is going from one feature to other feature you are going to verify let me take a gmail you are sending one mail to your friend end to end you sending a mail that is your part whether he is receiving or not that is second part these two parts are integrated both are verified that is the integration that is the integration so whatever the features you are having all those are integrated properly transfer the data from one module to other module that is something like integration based on the requirements what are all the integration flows you may get it according to that you need to perform the integration level testing next third one system level testing what is system level testing we tested each and every feature individually we tested features integrations next third one is system level testing you are going to test your entire application on different platforms client asked you to test your application on windows linux mac ubuntu and also client asked you to test your application on chrome browser firefox browser ie browser safari browser then how you so that is client requirement as a tester our job is to test the application on all the operating systems all the platforms and also client added 
he asked us to test with 1 GB RAM, 2 GB RAM, 4 GB RAM, 8 GB, 16 GB. He also asked us to test with 1 TB hard disk, 2 TB hard disk. And he also asked us to test with Intel from i3 to i7. So these are all the client requirements. Then we need to test according to his requirement. We need to test it. Do you think how much time it is going to take? All these combinations? So much time it is going to take. So to overcome this manual effort only, we need to go for automation testing. You are going to develop these scripts. Those scripts will execute and it will perform on your application on specific operating system and browser. It will give you the results. Okay, that is second part that we will discuss in the future. So system level some testing is something like we are going to test our application on multiple platforms according to the client requirement. We need to meet the client requirement. Whatever he asked for, we need to test it. Manual testing, manually we need to test the entire application. There is no way. That is something like system level testing. System means complete application. Next, fourth one is user acceptance testing. Okay, we have done module level, integration level, system level. Next, we need to hand over this application to the UAT team, user acceptance testing team. They know what the end user's expectation is. They will identify wherever the gaps are in our application. They will identify anything, not only the functionality, user friendliness of the application also. Whether this application is user friendly or not, they can identify. How they will identify? Because they are closely working with the end users. They are closely working with the client. They know what end users will like, what type of application and all. So accordingly, they know the end user expectations. Easily they can catch wherever the user friendliness is not there. So UAT job is to, along with the functionality, they need to find out wherever the user friendliness is not there in our application and they need to send it to the okay if everything okay or they identified something is lacking or user friendly is not missing in some of the scenarios accordingly they will send it to the development team again they will fix it again we will perform our levels of testings again we will do the system testing again we will send it back to the UAT team until they satisfy same process will continue and then next fifth phase is pre-production level testing pre-production level testing is something like whatever the application we are having okay UAT also done no issues are there functionality working user friendly also fine the next part is pre-production before we are sending our application to the production level environment live environment some dummy environment we are going to create and we will put our application over there with all the combinations whatever the end user the client want to give this application with that hardware software we are going to put it into a dummy environment we will perform the end-to-end -end testing over there and then we will send it to the production live environment in the live also two to three hours two to three hours the client will perform the testing on that application if everything works fine no issues are there build deployed successfully into the production then very well everything is fine all the levels of testings are completed and the application successfully went to the live from then the end users can access it and they will try to work on the application according to their requirement and they will happily use our application so these are all the six black box testing levels every each and every application whatever the companies are following the process they have to follow these six levels then only we can able to deliver the quality application to the client then only we can able to give successfully deliver to the client without having any major issues always issues will be there don't think that 100 percent bug free application we can deliver to the client that is no way always some hidden bugs will be there once real end users started working on that uh, working on that application 
then these issues may rise. Then again, same process. Development team will fix it. We will test it. Again, we will send the latest code to the production. Same process will continue. So, this is about the black box testing levels. Six levels we are going to we have discussed. What are all the six levels? Module level testing, integration level testing, system level testing, user acceptance, pre-production and production. Production means live. Whatever the end users can able to access, that is a live environment. Every company, every project should follow these six levels. Then only we can able to deliver the quality product to the client. Coming to the interview questions on this topic. What is black box testing? Who will do the black box testing? What is the importance of black box testing? Why we need to do that? What is module level testing? What is the use of module level testing? Why we need to do module level? What is the use of module level? First we are testing each and every feature individually or independently. So that that feature is working or not we will verify. What is integration level testing? Each feature to other feature we are integrating, we are combining. The data flows from one module to other module going properly or not we are going to verify. That is integration level testing. What is system level testing? We are testing the application on various different hardware combinations, different software combinations according to the client requirement. I mean different OS we are going to test it, different hardware combinations, different browsers. So this is this all nothing but system level testing. What is user acceptance level testing? Why we need to do that? We have tested functionality very well, UI very well, but we don't know what is end user expectation is. What user likes, end user likes, we, we don't know. Who knows it? Who are closely working with the end users, they know it. See, for example, we have one product in India. We have taken that product to China. They may like it or not, we don't know. Who knows it? Who are living in China? They know it whether the people likes by the Chinese, uh, China or not. That that case here also, UAT team they will check it out whether this application is user friendliness or not along with the functionality. That's fine. What is pre-production? Why we need to do that? Before we are moving our application to the live environment or production. First, we are putting the application to a similar environment to the production and we are doing some validations here to cross check everything is working in this environment. Then we will move the code to the production. Production means live. There also 2 to 3 hours testing we are going to conduct it. If everything works fine, build deployed successfully, then that's fine. Then it will be available to the end users. These are all the 6 levels of testing we should follow for any application okay so these are all the various interview questions they may ask you in the interview okay so that's all for this video thank you so much please uh, like the videos and my channel thank you